so dark. It feels like it's so dark in here. Am I live? I am, uh, for the first time, doing this on my phone, a stream yard on my phone. So I'm not sure if I if I did public or not. I hope I did. Let me see. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, anyway, hey guys, I'm Marlo Keenan. Welcome back to my channel. I hope I am doing this live correctly because I'm doing it on my phone. I know how to do it on my phone, but I never did a stream yard on my phone. This will be the first time. I just felt like just really doing a little bit more of a relaxed uh, type of chill live. I'm not going to be on here long because Miss Lori is going on at 7.30. So we, I will be off of here by then. Oh, I can see the comments on the side. Okay. Hello. Phil son, Phil, Phil son, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Hey, Lou. Oh, well, thank you for letting me know that I am public. Again, the stream yard with a phone is weird. And I look so super dark. Let me see if I, let me turn on my other bulbs here. Maybe it'll be a little brighter. No, that doesn't look like it did anything, but I'm gonna turn it off then because it's like blinding me. So how is everyone doing today? Hey, Aileen, Girl, I'm so sad that you're moving and we didn't even get a chance to hook up yet. That is so disrespectful, girl. So disrespectful. I'm like, oh my God, when I saw that, what did I see? I guess I was watching one of your videos and you were saying that, your last video. And I'm like, I didn't even get to meet you yet. Hey, Roberta, how are you? Um, we're chilling tonight. Nothing fancy smancy. I am just wanted to come on here and just chill. Like I have really no intention on this live or anything other than what I want to do is I did a video. Let's do some housekeeping. Let's do some housekeeping. I posted a video yesterday on my review on the new fashion fair launch, you know, they launched the foundation and powders. All I got though is the foundation. So there's that. And I'm going to play with this a little bit more tonight. So that's what I want to do. Nothing going on with the eyes. Nothing at all. We're not focused on that today. I mean, maybe I'll put some mascara on or something. I'm not even going to put on lashes, which is really like, really, and y'all know I do lashes. So yeah. So I just did, I, you know, again, I wanted to come on here. It has definitely been a very uh, stressful, sad week for the beauty community in general. I'm not going to hone or focus on that tonight. I think we've all already been through it this, these past few days. And I'm just going to quickly say that let's just continue and to keep, um, you know, great thoughts and prayers and uh, for Mel Thompson's family um, and to just pray for strength that um, her family gets through this very, very extremely difficult time. Um, hey, Venus. So, you know, I just, I just want to say that. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, again, I wanted to come on here and just chill, relax, non-stressful environment, of course. And just have a little conversation. Let's have a little fun. Let's just talk about makeup and what's coming up and all of the jazz. Okay. So let's just, you know, again, keep our thoughts and prayers with her family. Hey, Pam. Hey, Jean. How are you guys? So again, continuing with the housekeeping, you guys know I usually go live on Thursdays. I have reduced it to every other Thursday, but tomorrow I actually have a business dinner that I have to attend, so I won't be able to do the live tomorrow. So I figure, let me go on tonight, just hang out with you guys a little bit, you know, chat, do some foundation, because I usually don't do my base makeup. Every time, most of the time I do lives, unless I'm doing to get rid of with me on a YouTube video or something, I, I, I don't do my face online too much, um, but I love to do my base. I'm very much in, into my base, um, but I just, you know, because I'm usually always doing some eye looks, some, you know, crazy shenanigans where people that people want to see, I'm usually just focused on the eyes. But tonight we are going 
to do the face. So let me ask you guys this. Have anybody picked up, I mean, I know some of you probably have the Fashion Fair Launch Foundation. We're going to use this today. Uh, again, you guys, if you didn't look at my video yesterday, shame on you. You need to get your business together and go check out my video. <laughs> okay? Because y'all know how I am. Y'all need to go check that video out. Um, I really go into detail. I really go into talking about how I'm really excited about that. It's still uh, a black owned brand, you know, which is wonderful. Uh, and I didn't have high expectations for this foundation. I really didn't. Hey, Kara, I really didn't. Okay. 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 It's on your watch list. I really didn't because honestly, okay. You know, I'm seasoned, right? Just a little bit. And back in the day when I could remember, um, and I was into makeup back then, but fashion fair, you know, I, I remember buying the lipsticks and all that stuff. I wasn't into foundation like that back then. I wasn't wearing any foundation. I really just started wearing foundation really honestly, not that long ago. Okay. And I used to love the pink packaging, but I always considered it like it was, I, I felt like it was very inexpensive. I almost felt like, and then compared it to like a wet and wild, uh, like a uh, formula, if you will. And so, but I always bought the lipsticks. Okay. And so moving forward to 2021, I was like, okay, they were rebranding. And what I love about it is that they came out you know, the cruelty free, the fragrance free, you know, they did things uh, that met the expectation of the market of makeup today. And I, and I like that. And this what retailed for $37, which is, I mean, it's not, it's certainly no drugstore price. I tell you that right now, but fashion fair was on the drugstore price, you know, back then in the eighties price range. Oh, uh, I know Kara. Well, you can care. You need to catch up then. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm messing with you. You know, listen, I understand we all busy. I be having them playing catch up too. And you guys could always know, you guys pr pretty much know what I'm binging. Cause if, cause I'll watch all the videos, right? I'll watch it on the big TV and then I'll come back like a day or later or whatever and comment. Or sometimes I comment right there, but you know, I'm binging. If I leave comments back on back to back videos, that's when you know I'm binging. Like I'm just sitting there chilling, watching y'all videos. Hey, Chai. So, guys, I'm on StreamYard, right? But I'm on my phone, which is new for me. I never did StreamYard on the phone. So, it's I, I mean, it's all right. I don't feel like it's giving me the lighting that I need. Um, but the lighting in here is a little funky anyway. It was $20 for the Marshall. It was $20? Yeah. Well, see, I didn't use the foundation back then. You know what I mean? But the lipsticks were inexpensive. I really compared it to a Wet n Wild price back then. The difference is it was like the only makeup we had for women of color. You know what I'm saying? It was like the only, no, it, it, to my memory, and you guys could correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys are in my age group, there was nothing else. Fashion Fair was it for women of color, period. You know what I mean? I mean, there was nothing back then. You know, you know I think more towards the 90s, you know, they started, you know, put doing makeup like, you know, Queen Latifah will have a line with CoverGirl. Um, you know, that started coming about in the 90s, like late 90s, you know, people, you know, things like that. But for the most part, there was not one specific brand catered to women of color. Not that I remember anyway. So we're going to use this today. I think, okay, so what I've been doing, guys... Okay, so I have like all these primers, right? And I don't never use them. Remember I used this one in a, a Shop My Stash video? I'm gonna use this one. I've been using it uh, more lately. Uh, it's a mattifier and it's by Urban Decay and it's good. It's good. I like this Urban Decay one. Tell me, uh, comment down below. Let me know what primers you guys are currently using, but what what current primers that you're using to mattify? And this is the Cover Effects Blurring Primer. I like this too. So, but I'm only using it just a little bit right in my T-zone. And you know what, guys? I promise you, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all gonna, you know, don't be talking about me neither in the comment section. Okay, because I'm gonna go back and read it, even if I miss y'all comments right now. I'm telling you, this is probably li literally expired. But it don't smell bad. 
I'm using it, child. This cost like 40. This was expensive. This Urban Decay uh, Optical Illusion Complex Primer. I mean, again, I've been using it for the past, you know, few days, about a week now, even more, like, consistently. And I like it. It ain't bad at all. Like, it, it, it mattifies like nobody's business. But you do want to make sure you're careful what you put uh, when you're doing your skincare because if you use this as specific products, it'll beat up. You know what I'm saying? It'll 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 beat up. But that's because like you're, if you have your sunscreen on, which I always wear. Hey Rhonda, you're multitasking. Okay, Venus. Yeah, this is a, it's a good primer. So and I'm getting I'm putting a little dent in it. You know what I feel like I'm trying to do, guys? Honestly. Right now, especially now as the fall comes in, I'm trying to use products that are like right here in front of me. And I'm, I, and I'm actually trying to decrease the amount of any given item in a, in a category. So right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got eight primers sitting right here. But like these, this primer, I was, I just started using. This is another one by Urban Decay. And this is the complexion primer. You can only use a little bit of this because it'll give a white cast. And to be honest with you, I don't even remember the difference, child. This is a focus effect for shine control. And this is an argan oil pore perfecting. This, I could say, is more comparable to, you know, the classic um, pore professional. You know, brand new bottle. Haven't even opened it yet. So what I'm trying to do is use the older ones so I could get through it. So when I look over here at my primer section, I literally only want to see three primers in my primer section, point blank in a period. You know, I want to get through my makeup and not have so many of, of you know, items in one given category. I'm done with that. I really want to get through it. Thank you, Chai. Hey, Venus Grand, Natisha. And so now I'm not going to be able to do that with foundation. Okay. Cause I'm a foundation freak. Like I like foundation. Like I, I'm gonna have, look, look, I'm gonna have my foundation. It is what it is. I'm not going to be able to reduce that. Would I love to reduce it to 10? Like I would love the goal is for me to just literally have 10 foundations instead of 35 to 40. Okay. That's the goal. But Fashion Fair wanted to come out with a foundation. I had to buy it. Why? Because A, it's a cream product and I love cream foundations. I don't care. I love cream products. I have dry, mature skin. I'm telling you, cream is where it's at. And I still and will, will say that I still believe that for even the oily to combination skin girls, it's just about prep. Like, look, guys, I got crock. Huh, dial skin okay in the winter time and look at this foundation right here i got you guys know what time it is with this foundation you know what time it is but i just gotta prep i make sure my skincare is on point i make sure that i'm moisturized you know what i'm saying before i go in with that foundation in fact i may even put this a little bit on my hand and put just a little drop of my uh, maracuja oil just to not not only sheer it out, but to give it a little bit of luster feel. Same thing with this type of thing. If you're oily, powder. Jackie Ina had a beautiful um, uh, technique where she just put a little powder right there and she went in with her cream and, um, and her liquid foundation and it was beautiful and it wasn't cakey. It's just about the technique. So do I say that this foundation is 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 good for oily girls. I think you guys could do it if you prep right. Chai, do I believe Chai? I don't know. Chai, Chai got um. Chai, well, we had a conversation about this. You got oily skin, right? You was afraid to use this. Try it. Eyeshadow. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do any eyeshadow today. Well, if you guys really want me to, as long as I'm off by seven thirty, because uh, uh, Lori's going on live. You do, Natisha? Are you dry or oily, though? Let me start putting on my foundation. I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to use my Makeup Geek brush. Now, the thing about this foundation is, though, it ain't full coverage or nothing like that. 
is my perfect match right now. And when I did the video, if y'all didn't go see, I'm going to say it again. Don't be disrespectful. Don't, don't. Marlo G's uh, notifications best be on. <laughs> some people love when I do that. I had gotten some DMs. They were like, oh, we love when you be saying Marlo G and you be all serious. <laughs> I like to have fun. Um, so you're only going to be able to build this up until a certain point. It's not going to go, you know what I'm saying, any further. But it is lovely. You know, it's so, it's just lovely. You know, you can still see my freckles. It's a natural finish, you know. But when you touch it, you could feel it's like emollient. You have to set it. Even I set it and I got dry skin. You know what I'm saying? But who don't anyway? I mean, it's nine times out of 10, let's not go crazy. Let's be real about this. Nine times out of 10, with any foundation, no matter what skincare you're using, no matter what you're doing, most people are doing something other than just the foundation. You're bronzing, you're putting blush on. So at the end of the day, you ultimately set in it anyway. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on how you set it. Like me, I'm not setting. It's not like I'm going to sit here and put a whole bunch of beauty bakery powder all over my face. You know what I mean? <laughs> it just depends on how you do it. And for me, I'm just going to set it very, very lightly. I just really love, I don't think you guys could see it the way. It's just so pretty. You know, I'm not in my beauty space where all my good, good lights are. But, oh, my God, I'm just loving just love in the way it looks. And it's almost like as much as you put on your brush, you're only going to get so far. It's almost like you can't even make a mistake. You can't make, you know how some people, you know, you know, or whatever, you put on foundation and you know when, okay, okay, I done did too much. I done did too much. You can't do this with that. You can't do that with this. You just can't. It's not going to go but so far. So like, I'm really done. This is all the, you know, that I would use. But look at that. It's so pretty, guys. It, I mean, what if I was doing my live and like with all my, my fancy lights and stuff, you guys would be able to see it a lot better. I, <laughs> Chai, it's really good. It really is, Vanis. I mean, oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you. This is probably going to be the last time that I do my nails because I like to take a break. And so after this, you know, when it's time for a refill, I'll probably just take it off for the uh, fall and the winter. So, yeah, I'm basically done with that. It's so pretty. You guys really got to try it. I'm Chai, you need to get it. I'm going to be, uh, you know, I'm going to be pushing. I'm going to be uh, Chai's pusher. She's going to be like on Instagram talking about some Marlo made me buy it because I'm going to be pushing. It's so beautiful. But like I said, right now, it's 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 a moly and it takes you know even if i wait a few minutes it's not gonna like dry down where i don't feel anything you know what i'm saying it's not going to do that okay so let me take a my joy concealer just do a little bit concealing like a little bit because this is whoo, like full coverage but it's not drying. It's not like the tart shape. I forgot that they had the stick version. I forgot about that. Now, see, I would get the stick for myself for bronzing and contour. Like I would get a shade a lot deeper than my skin tone and use the stick as a contour because I love using sticks for contour bronzing. Like I got my Killing Cosmetics stick. This is an extra dark. And I would use this for contour and bronze. Well, this would be contour. This ain't gonna be no bronze on me. But it would be, that's what I would use it for. Hey, hey, Rosalind. Miss Park. <laughs> yes, Miss Parker is in the house. If I missed anybody, I apologize. So 
okay, it, it's been what, maybe a minute or two, it's still feeling like it don't dry down. It, it just doesn't, it doesn't dry down. I, I feel like it doesn't. So do you guys got anything coming up for the weekend? Anything special? I was at uh, uh, an event uh, this past Saturday, which I had a good time. I was damn Sunday, child. I ain't gonna lie. It is what it is. I'm truthful with y'all. I ain't gonna, you know what I mean? It is what it is. It's been a long time since I've been out. Hey, you know what I mean? At a, at a, at a beautiful event. Um, you know, it's been a while. And so I fully enjoyed myself. So this weekend, I probably will film a video or two. Um, I don't, uh, I'm gonna, I have to do my, I'll tell you guys, I'll give you a heads up that I'm doing a video. Well, maybe I should, maybe I should surprise y'all. Maybe I won't say nothing. So you guys know I did my eyebrows already, so I'm trying to like mediate between my eyebrows right now. This concealer is a bit light, but that's okay. We're going to bronze up the skin anyway, but I love, love this concealer. Hey, Lisa. Are you asking me if I cut my hair or are you asking Chai? I didn't. My hair is I need to get a haircut. It's getting really long. I love this concealer. Do you guys love, do you guys um, know about or ever try the Jouer concealer? It's really, really, really good. Okay, so now typically, right, I could be blending this a little bit better, but for time's sake, is that beauty sponge? Guys, this foundation is, it, it's, I really like it. And now this is the second time of me applying it. And as I'm looking at it, it's it just, it's really pretty. It's just so natural, so beautiful. I really, really enjoy it. Yeah. So now typically I will set right now. What, I, what I'm going to do after I set it, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury. Now, this is in light. Now, what I wish I had, which I'm going to get, this is in light. And I only use this for my T-zone and under my eyes. But I can't set all over my face because it's too light. I need to go and buy the tan. However, you guys already know I got my Dior. And uh, this one is in 4N. So I'm going to set with this. And then the darker one so I could like bronze and contour. When I tell you this is going to be on my top five list of the end of the year of the best of the best of 2021, this will be at the top of the list. Okay. Hands down. This powder is everything. If you don't know, you need to ask somebody. Okay. Because it is fabulous and it's a perfect perfect combination it just works really well with this fashion fair because the fashion fair foundation too obviously as you guys know is medium coverage it's emollient and it's a natural finish this powder by dior is just that i mean it's not emollient obviously because it's a powder duh right however it is a natural finish and i'm just like gonna just pack that on just a bit, just like that. And it just gives you just this flawless airbrush look. I mean, now, now when I touch it, now I can start feeling that, you know, it's drier. You know what I mean? It's not as emollient, but I'm still going to be adding product. Why? Because I'm going to still be, you know, uh, bronzing and contouring, but for now, I'm just going to go just like that. It's so beautiful in real life. Like, oh my God, guys. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. So now I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury now and, uh, you know, my airless flawless. And then I'm just going to go ahead and set that under eye area. So you guys need to tell me what y'all gonna going to do this weekend. Let me tell you something. Outside of maybe me doing one or two videos, my butt is going to be on my couch the way I usually am, watching TV, catching up on some of my shows that I want to catch up on. 
call it a day. Now, I'm not like going under the eye, like right there, but right under, you know, that your that lash line and just a little bit and the Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my goodness. Right down the middle. And that's what I use this shade for because I can't use it for now, you know. I can't use it all over my face. It's like way too light. But I am the girl, as you guys know, that I love a bright under eye. Like I like a bright under eye. I always have. Let me get my bigger brush here so I can, you know, I shake right down there. Kind of a reverse contour, if you will. Look, I I use this so much, the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know if you can see it. You see that indentation in like a day. I'm almost about to hit pan on this. And this is a new one. I got this this year. That's how much I use it. It's crazy. I know it's not, this is not, you know, crowned the way it would be on a Thursday or Friday night. It's water. All right, so that is pretty, what time is it? Okay, so that's really pretty. So now I'm going to, let's do like a little bronze uh, moment here. Oh, you know what I should have did? It's it's not really too late, but I'm not going to do it. I should have cream contour, but I'm not. I'm going to use the Dior powder, just a number five, which is deeper, and I'm going to use it to do the bronze and then contour. And I'm gonna use my Wayne Gloss number one. This is like has now my my favorite bronzing brush. It just fits perfectly where I want it to go. And it does automatically blend in. Because the way the brush is, oh my God, that is just, oh! Guys, if you if you do not know nothing about this Dior, oh, it's gorgeous. Like sometimes I don't even want to use it on YouTube videos because I don't want to waste the product. I want to like, you know, just wear it when I go out. And when I do YouTube videos or and things like this and lives, I'm literally washing it off my face. It's like, oh no. So now, in real life, this is giving me like, oh my God, such, I'm just so flawless right now and it's so super smooth. Everything is blended into each other perfectly. There's not one patch anywhere on my face where there's any demarcation or anything. It's absolutely perfect. Now, I would keep it like this if I just wanted to just have that subtle bronze little bit of look but I want to go a little bit deeper with the contour and the kind of like the bronze. So um, although this is perfect, I want to go deeper. So I'm going to want to use something a little bit more deeper than this. So I'm going to pull out my Marc Jacobs bronzer and tantalize and just deepen up, you know, the bronze just a bit because this is a more bronzier, deeper shade than the one that by the Dior. You see, it's a little deeper. And I'm just gonna have that touched right there. You see that? Just right there. And then I'll blend it out, the rest of it out. But it's gonna deepen up that and chisel that out a little bit more. Just for a little bit more of a dramatic effect. And oh my goodness. And I'm just gonna take the rest of the product. I'm not even gonna dip my brush in anymore and just go ahead and do the perimeter of the skin. Hey Lorraine, how are you? Okay, so I mean, and if I really wanted to just leave it like that hardcore, because, okay, I would not blend this out or because when you're taking photos for the tube or for Instagram, especially when you're using a DSR or camera, you, the camera with the lights is so bright, it flushes everything out. So a lot of times I won't, I will keep, I will like pack it, like and let it be really dark. So the photos could come out woo, sharp. Real sharp. I lost my train of thought just now. Let me just bring that down the nose right here. I'm pinching it. I'm pinching the brush now because it's so I'm pinching it. 
just gonna do a little bit of contour the nose and that you can see you can see I can, it's deep but when you're taking photos you want it to be like that you know what I mean but I will blend it out just a little bit more and and for and just for you guys I'm gonna put blush on okay just for y'all I'm gonna put blush on okay I'm gonna put my Pat McGrath blush on. And you already know what shade it's in. It's in Desert Orchid. Ugh. I really hate the packaging though. I ain't gonna lie. Cause it's like, <sighs> take my brush. Oh, I do love this blush. And you know why? I'm gonna tell you why. Because I'm me. It doesn't feel like it's blush. It's like more, it's a bronzy blush. Like when I do wear blush, I like to look bronze. Like I am the bronze type of Cleopatra wanna look, wanna be. You know what I mean? Like I don't, you know, y'all know, I mean, and to each your own, hey, Shannon. And, you know, to, I'm trying to like keep up with this stuff. I'm sorry. It's, streaming art is weird on the phone. Um, I don't like, like, I don't, you know, I ain't going to put no pink on my cheek. I'm not. Okay? Look, pink and all that other, the brushes look fabulous on everybody. I mean, you guys work it out. It was beautiful. I just, I don't know. I just ain't trying to put no pink on my face, child. <laughs> I'm just not trying to put no pink on my face. This is like just a nice, you know, corally type of like, I know, coral, right? Kind of like orange, but not. Bronze. It just makes you look really super bronze. And that's what I love about this. That's why I got this one. This is the only shade I got by Practice. And so now let's do what do, what should we do for highlight? I want to I want to kind of go extra with the highlight a little bit. So well, I mean, if I do extra, I could do the artist couture. That's extra. That's extra. Which one is this? Diamond Glow. Let's do Diamond Glow. My artist couture. We'll do, we're going to pack it on. I don't want to pack, pack, pack it on, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, this is the only thing that's on my face. I feel like for the most part, my face basically looks matte. You know what I mean? Matte and flawless. This is like obviously bringing out the shine. But it's so gorge. So, so gorge. I'm going to take that same brush that I had, the Pat McGrath and that blush, and I'm gonna go like this to blend kind of like that blush right into the highlight, which makes it look really pretty and seamless. And so like if I was outside and I went like that and I turned a certain way, bam, somebody be like, dang girl, you know, cause the Lord Jesus sees me. I mean, the Lord, sees his child, Marlo G all the time. I mean, if it wasn't for him, I mean, he gave, he made Marlo G, right? So he's the one who's going to be like, baby girl, I see you down there trying to do your thing. That's what he's saying. That's what Lord, that's how that's how my daddy talks to me. I don't know how daddy, everybody got their own personal relationship child. But daddy know his child. Daddy be like, go ahead, Marlo. I see you. He's over there. He he be like he be like okay. I know you want to put on that highlight because you don't think I can see you, but I'm the Lord. I see. But okay, if you wanna, you know, do the most to try to make me really see you further, then go ahead. So Daddy, all right with it. <laughs> Guys, the lighting in here. Next time I do this in this room, I'm gonna put uh, my ring light behind me so the lighting could be better. But if this is so so, so beautiful. Now, I gotta tell y'all. 
okay, y'all talking to yourselves. I'm not trying to wear bright blush either. I rarely wear blush. But when I do, it's very, yeah, natural. And that's why I like the Pat McGrath, the Desert Orchid. And I have my other favorites. And they're all, to be honest with you guys, like powder brushes by Bel Air Pierre. And this is one of my favorite mineral blushes, Autumn Glow. Let me show you, because since we're on the subject, I have to show you guys this. It's, it's just like almost Desert Orchid, but only in a powder form. But it's so natural. Let me put it on my finger. You see that? It's kind of coily, but just really beautiful, a natural type of color that's going to give you like the bronze Cleopatra wannabe glow. And as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and put it right on top of Pat McGrath. I love this blush. Now this, I love. It's, been my, it's always been my favorite. And it's just so natural and it gives you a glow and it just makes you glow from within and it's just such a beautiful blush now i'm like i, I want to put it everywhere you got oh i love it i absolutely love it i don't use it and i'm i'm like running out you know but bella uh bella pier uh i don't have that much by them um but this is something with, that's always a repurchase you know for sure so what I want to tell you guys, ColourPop has two really good ones, Jet Set and Trippin'. Okay. Okay. I didn't do a dedicated video on this or anything like that, but I don't even know if I should because, I mean, how do you do a dedicated video on one product like a satin spray? This is the business. This is the business. Now. Cause you know I'm real with y'all. My number one, my top set and sprays are Urban Decay All Nighter, Urban Decay All Nighter, Slay All Day by Gerard Cosmetics. What's the other one? Those aren't it. Oh, I mean, those are my. <laughs> excuse me. Those are my top two, right? Now, this is a mattified waterproof set and spray. Okay. This is not, this is not a mattifying, it set your makeup, but it's not mattifying or anything like that. And it's going to give you this luster type of look, okay? And it smells good. <laughs> Mrs. Unnecessary, what's up, Tam Tam? What's up? I just love your energy, girl. I love, I love, love your energy. So they the, the one I have is the mattifying one, okay? He has one that's, I guess, illuminating. That would probably be conducive to, to this one. But when I tell y'all this is the business, I ain't affiliate. I don't know Patrick Starr from a can of daggone paint, okay? Don't know his mama, his daddy, his brothers, his sisters. I don't know his aunties or I don't know his uncles. Okay, this is the business. This is the business. Now, I shake it up really good, but this is what I've been doing. This is what I've done. Shake it up. Boom. Now, do you notice that that dry? The only thing I don't like about setting spray sometimes like this is the alcohol. Like this got a lot of alcohol in it. But Whatever. It is what it is. Pick and choose your battles. Now, how I look right now in real life is I am mattified, but you see the glow in my skin because of the blush, the highlight, right? And this whole part in my middle of the face is like blurred. You can't really, I don't really feel that this is doing it justice, but if you saw me in real life, when I tell you, it's it's just, it's so naturally, but you got makeup on. It, it is crazy. Now, well, what I do, so because I like to look juicy, right? I like to look juicy and wet and all that, right? Now I'm going to go in with this because this is going to give me that luminosity of the setting spray. And just and doubling up with the sleigh all day, child, please, you won't, it, it's not going 
anywhere. But this is that one is mattifying and it's making it stay and it's waterproof. And now watch this. And y'all should be able to see the difference. Right now, the shine and the luminosity that you see is from the highlight blush, you know, blah, 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 blah. Now I'm gonna spray this. Oop, it's brand new. Let me get the other one so I can just use it. This is in coconut, this is in dreamsicle. These are my two favorite um, scents. Okay. I don't know why I always, when I put scent spray on, I'm always holding my hair back, but I got my hair in a ponytail. But there's no need for me to do that, right? But anyway, I digress. Now, you see the difference of that spray versus this spray, how, yes, it's wet, it's going to dry down, but it's giving me the luster look and the wet look. My fan is right here. You see? Now, what I like to always to do is take my beauty sponge and just go ahead and See? And press it in. Just press it in. And now I got that mattifying along with a little bit of the sheen. It's waterproof. The makeup ain't going nowhere. Let it dry down. Did sun come in? I didn't see sun. Did somebody say hi to sun? Oh, there you are. Hey, sun. My boo. I love sun. <laughs> Okay, so you see what I'm saying? And I'm telling you with the mask, because I, I did this look and I, I was out, you know, and I have the mask, I'm telling you, it, it's, it's bulletproof. And make it so funny, and, and this is what I'm talking about. If you go, if, you, if you're gonna use the foundation that this one, for the oily skin girls, just do what you need to do to prep, because this is a moment, you gotta set it. Do the powder, take your powder, put on a little bit of sponge, just like Jackie Ina did, because I did it before like that, and it, and it, it is fine. Go ahead and do your little thing, then put this on, and then you pack on your setting spray, you do your powder, you're going to be good to go. I, I mean, and then what I love, like right now, I just did the makeup, right? You know, it's still on, it's fresh, but wait, like when you wait and you let your natural oil seep through, like it just makes it even look even better. It's it, it it's even better. So, okay, but this bit this live was all about I ain't do no eyes, no eyes. There's nothing on my eyes, okay, guys. But we're gonna we'll put some mascara on, okay, just for we'll put some mascara on. I'm gonna use my makeup geek mascara. Don't forget anything you guys do on makeup geek. Get ten percent off using the code Marlo Keenan. I'm not gonna do no lashes or anything. Thanks, Lisa. Okay. But now you know we're gonna put on a bold lipstick job. Let's not get it twisted. Let's not get it twisted. Unless you guys want me to put on lashes. I mean, if I, you want me to put on lashes, that's the I'm not gonna do, I'm not doing any eyeshadow. But if you want me to put on lashes, I will. Hey, Blue Living. How are you? Happy hump day or hump night. Typically, when I don't wear lashes, I would really take my time and do my lashes with this mascara and also do about three coats. That's what I typically do when I don't wear lashes or anything, but, you know, we're going commando on the eyes tonight. This is all about the face.
Now, typically how I do this, no eyes, right? I have nothing on the eyes, just mascara, right? What I would, what I still do though, however, is I will take, you know, any shimmer you want, whatever it is, highlight, and I will just, you know, just put a little something right there to highlight that, you know, you know, just a little something. You know, you talking about work, 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 makeup, work, makeup, but looking glam. The skin is popping. You just, the brows popping. You just got a little bit of mascara on, a little highlight. And then what's going to set it off, then what's going to set it off is lipstick. If you're going to do something like this, you're going to work, you just, your face is beat. You don't got nothing on the eyes, though. You just got some mascara. Best believe you better be wearing a pop lip. Okay. <laughs> Best believe you better be wearing a pop and lip. So what we going to do, what we going to do, because y'all going to love this color. I hope you love this color because I'm, I'm looking at it. Got to shake this bad boy up. It's one of those lippies. Okay, you ready for it? Yes, we're going in with Fenty Beauty. This is the lip stunner and unlocked. When I tell you, watch, watch, watch. You see, we need a, okay, screenshot. Take your phone, screenshot me. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, right? <laughs> and then, <laughs> then screenshot me with the lippy, y'all. <laughs> I'm being silly, guys. I know. Listen, it's been just a tragic and just rough week, two, three weeks. We got to have some fun in our lives. All right, here we go. Now, this may take me a little bit because, you know, I got natural lips, child. Did y'all screenshot me without no lipstick? I ain't even fit. Hold up. Hold up. Takes me a little while to get it perfect because I got full lips. You need to let, just like paint, you need to let it dry and then add on your second coat. But just, you can't tell me. You can't tell me that this lipstick ain't popping. Say it isn't so. Go ahead with the second layer. Oh, uh, this lighting in here is not doing it real justice to what it looks like in real life. Now, You can't tell me. And if you try to tell me, other than that, this lipstick ain't bomb, you's a daggone lie. The devil's a lie. <laughs> okay? Like, and that's it. I mean, this, I don't know what's wrong with this camera. I feel like my angle ain't right. It's just not looking right. <laughs> You're the president, girl. I know. I got full lips, though. I ain't got no small lips. But you do got, you do got some juicy ones, too. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. And so, you know, I mean, just that alone, no eyes, no, nothing on the eyes, whatever. Don't, I mean, don't, don't, don't let me take the hair down. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Go to work. You're popping every day, you know, and this is a really beautiful fuchsia pink. I don't know if it's really capturing it with this. Um, you know what I mean? It's a, just a really beautiful future fuchsia pink. So, yeah. Now, I'm I'm really, guys, a type of girl. You guys are about, you know, I people talk about me all the time. You know, if they ain't talking, then you ain't doing something right. You know what I mean? The they ain't talking. So, I'm that type of person that I will wear this in the wintertime and don't care. I don't care. If I want to wear pink, I'm going to wear pink. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody would be like, oh, this is a nice spring, summer color shade. And it is. It really is. But if I'm feeling pink in the wintertime, I'm going to do pink. Okay, so now my face is dried down. So let's take a paper towel see how much makeup comes off. Do you see this? Let's do the other side. And I'm pressing. Now I'm just going to shake it a little bit. So you guys know I'm doing this for real. Okay, where I pressed, there's a little bit discoloration right there. Tag on it. This lighting in here stinks. I'm telling you, it's the business. I know, right? You saw you saw me tan tan, right? <laughs> like, like I, I'm, you know. If I if I discover or see a good product, I want to share with you guys. You know what I mean? Say what you want. This is this it's the business. It's the business. You know what I mean? It just and 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 I'm more impressed with it only because I'm using this like emollient foundation that's really super, you know, it's a cream for heaven's sakes, you know? So yeah. Uh, I used the, this one to mattify it. And then I just went over it with my Gerard Cosmetics Set and Spray. Slay all day. This is very, very good, too. The difference is, is that this is more luminous. Like, this is matte. And so I just put this so I can have a little bit more of that luster shine to my skin. And don't forget, of course, you know I'm affiliate for Gerard Cosmetics. You get 30% off using code Marlo Keen in that checkout. My little plug. I got, you know, I got to do what I got to do, guys. All my links and all that stuff is all down below and all that. When you do shop my links, yes, I do get a partial commission. So thank you for all the support. I don't have that. The only thing I bought, Lorraine, is this. But you know what I want to get? The only reason why I didn't get the powder is because I'm not that much of a powder, powder person because I have dry skin. And I have so many powders right now. You know, and plus the ones that are sitting right there in front of me, I want to get through them. Um, but what I am going to do is get the stick foundation and use it for a contour and bronzer. That's what I definitely want to do. Saving money and supporting the channel is an easy, as I know, as links in the description is free and helps Marlo bring us new releases for review. Thank you so much. That is so, so, so true, guys. So, so, so true. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to try to get the uh, the stick ones. I probably won't get the powder just yet, though, because I have enough right now in my arsenal. So let's talk really quickly about Pat McGrath. I'm in my feelings because I did. I just got my note. I bought the palette the same day it launched, and I just received the notification from shipping yesterday and so i'm in my feelings because everybody got theirs and i didn't get mine i want to try that too tam tam so
So being that I didn't get my palette, which you guys know, I'm going to be at the box as soon as it comes. And when I do my review, it will be in depth. It will be in depth. It will be hardcore. It will be honest. It will be two to three looks. It will be swatches. You know, it will be all of that. But I still love, you know, I, look at it. It's, this is all messed up. I wanted to get that other palette because I love this holiday collection. And so um, there was a shade in that Pat McGrath palette that was, um, it was black, but it was shimmery. It was shimmery. Oh my God. Like I love a black shimmery type of look when I'm doing maybe a deep smoky eye and get it to be a little bit more sexy, a lot more Instagrammy, like Pat McGrath Instagram and stuff. And just, I could just, I could see it. I, I, I can envision me using it. I could see it. And when I come with it, you guys, I'm going to come with it. I'm going to bring it to you all my all. With all my might, I'm going to bring you a, a, a color with that daggone black shade that's, that's got shimmer in it. I'm, I'm bringing it to you guys. Absolutely. Yes, Lorraine. If you're going to shop Mel Tom's, yeah. I said a little something before you came on in the beginning about her and her family. So here uh, are some of my favorite shades. He, in this, you know what? I wish that. Or do, oh, she does have the. Um, she does have the names of the shades here. So, but there's only three mats in here. I don't know how many mats are in the new one, but there's three mats here, and I really love every single shade. I don't use the purples that much, but like this one here, look how beautiful. That's. This one here, okay, we got to play with this a little bit because the new Pat McGrath palette, it's on its way to me. Oh, crap. Okay, let me use my arm then down here. Oh, that is so gorgeous. I feel like putting that on my eye a little bit. Just tap, tap that on my eye just a bit, just to give it a little. Okay, we were supposed to go commando with the eye, but. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Just a little bit. Just to give it a little bit of contrast. Look at that compared to this eye, how it brightens it up and opens it up a little bit. I can't wait to play with the new shades and the new holiday palette. I am super excited. Now this goes perfect with this look, you know, using this, but I could also, let's uh, swatch this one on top right there. Just a, just a reminder guys of, you know, that's more deeper, more coppery goldish. Just, you know, it's similar, but this is definitely more deeper. I love these type of shades because, again, I'm such, I love the bronze look, that gold, want to be Cleopatra, <laughs> me, I want to be clear. I want to be, I want to be her. I just want to be her. Okay. Now, this one, I'm interested in comparing, well, this is more, this is purple, though. This is more purple. You know, this, but in the pan, it looks like it's black, but it's purple. It's got a purple shift to it here. So I'm, I'm interested to see how it, you, oh, you, come on now. You know what? I use this, like, I use that shade, I think, once. And I don't even understand why I'm not, I got to use this a little bit more. Look how gorgeous that is. Now, the one in her new palette, I believe, is more, is more black gray kind of I think taking on um this theme here but it's just black and gray where this is more purple I need to make up white what time is it okay oh I'm gonna make up white here so I'm really excited to get this palette guys I know um I think Guess who bought the palette? You guys won't believe it. Guess who got the palette? Monique. 
She messaged me yesterday and said she got the ballot. I am shocked. Okay, now the rest of them, this is like a greenish shimmer. Oh, it's, definitely, it's olive green, actually. So, you know, if you guys have this one from last year, you know, I'm pretty much sure that it's going to be the same consistency, the same uh, texture, some of the same textures. I'm sure some of them might even be better than uh, these ones from last year, but I'm really super excited to get this new palette. I'm really going to show it and demonstrate all the swatches and all that good stuff on me. And um, I'm excited to put and edit and get that video out to you guys as quick as I can. I mean, I feel like I'm the only one out of our community and friends that didn't get the palette yet. Everybody was on their doorstep. They didn't get notifications. I know Kara didn't and hers just uh, appeared. Hey, Amanda. You know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I just wanted to kind of just talk about that. I'm waiting for the palette guys, but you know, I so enjoyed last year's um, launch. Um, I'm really excited to get uh, the new one. And I did put this to work. I mean, there's a few shades. See this matte shade here and the other matte, the brown has a little indentation in it because I, I was using a lot. So I pulled it back out because I'm going to use it some more but when I get the new one you know I'll probably use that one mostly for a little while but love 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 this palette guys I know Kara I saw that I was like I would have been hot <laughs> I know I've been like and, and, and but you handled it very well yeah, but you know, I, I'm not, I've never had experience with Pat McGrath's customer service. I never had to call or to get anything replaced or anything like that, but I'm sure you'll get that replaced, you know, but uh, and I don't really know if Pat McGrath's formula is that type of formula where you could press back into a fan because there's a lot of times I've received, especially matte shadows broken. I know how to put it back little alcohol press it back into the pan and let it dry overnight 24 hours and it's good as new i don't know if you could do that with her formula oh, okay it's good did you even try to fix it because i saw that you put it in the you know in whatever the foil or something that you had i don't know if you tried to put it back in the pan to press it back into the pan but again i don't know if pat mcgrath's formulas are you know if that would work Hey, Indecent. So, yeah. It's really soft. Bye, Tam Tam. What well, was sixty dollars? I gotta go back. Ordered mine today with the highlighter. Oh, the highlighter is sixty dollars. I didn't get anything else out of the collect out of the holiday collection, and I probably won't. I only wanted the uh, the the palette, so I'm definitely excited to get that. I know, right? Sometimes it's just the luck of the draw, you know. But anyway, you know, guys, and oh, I didn't even mention, well, if you watch my video from yesterday, you know, I am in the shade. I got the shade Honey Child. But let me tell you, I know I could have I could have went a shade up and got a shade up in it. I could have made it work because I'm tanned and either that or I could have used it on the perimeter of my skin. I know I could have went a shade up, but, but Honey Child is perfect for me. And again, oily girls and cotton, don't be afraid of it. I'm telling you, it's not that you know, that you can't make it work. I'm telling you, especially with this setting spray. So again, if y'all didn't see my video yesterday, do not be disrespectful. Okay, go watch my video. So I'm going to be closing out. You know, uh, don't forget Lori's coming on live at 7.30. So I wanted to make sure since I wasn't able to come on tomorrow because I have the uh, business dinner tomorrow that I won't be able to go on. So I wanted to come on tonight. But, you know, in closing, 
I do want to just always say, I know I, I get a little mushy and you guys probably, I annoy you guys, but I love every single one of you guys. And life is not promised to us tomorrow. And I don't, I, and I, and I say that not just to be like, okay, that's the reason why you should be good to each other and love each other and respect each other and just be a good human being and always have some compassion and empathy, you know, acknowledge that you do not know. Everybody does not know what people are going through. You guys see me on camera. You don't know. I may be going, you know, I may be going through something. You may be going through something. You never know. So just always try to, to limit your judgment, try to uh, uh, limit those things because you never know what's what's happening. And even though life is not promised to us tomorrow, I don't use that as a crutch or a step or a, a, an excuse. We should always just naturally be warm and want to be better, uh, you know, to people, to ourselves and just always, you know, kind of just step back, get out of your own understanding sometimes, uh, eliminate the assumptions um, and just really treat people and respect and provide empathy the way you want to be treated. I know sometimes it's hard. We get upset that things happen in life with people at the workplace in your personal life or whatever, but just always, always just sometimes just take a step back. Even when you're in those height, height moments, is this a 10 or is this a two? How could I react? How could I not react? But no matter what, everybody deserves love and respect. You know what I'm saying? Um, and just remember that, you know, we're living in a real crazy rough climate right now in life and um, just in general, in this world. And we got to continue, we just got to continue to be better than who, what we are net today and be better tomorrow and, and respect and love and provide empathy and compassion for, for each other and love yourself, you know, and that's key because I, I firmly believe if you don't even love yourself and you don't respect yourself and you don't, you know what I'm saying, care, and you don't do self-care, you damn sure are not going to be able to do it for somebody else. And I live by that. So love yourself. You know what I'm saying? Have compassion for others. Just be good to each other. That's it. It's not hard. It really isn't. It's not. It takes a lot more daggone energy to be cruel than it does to just be nice and respectful and caring and understanding. And don't be so quick to judge people. Don't be so quick to anger. Acknowledge and accept that, you know what? Somebody may be going through something. You know what I'm saying? That you don't even know about. So I'm going to close with that. Okay. I personally love and respect every single one of you. You guys have been a blessing in my life. You guys are so caring. You guys talk to me. You guys see me. I appreciate you. If I don't say it enough, I'm sorry. What is the truth? I respect you guys. And I'm here. Just like everybody else. You know? Okay. All right. I love you guys so much. Um, I'll be filming this weekend. We'll be getting that Pat McGrath out uh, video out for you guys. And again, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and thank you for clicking on my video and watching and commenting and helping me and helping me grow my channel. I'm trying to get to 5,000. I appreciate you guys sharing and, you know, and let, and telling people to watch me and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. And we're going to, you know, shortly I'm going to go wash my face. I'll be on Lori's live. I might get on there a little bit later because I got to do all the jazz and get my butt in the bed and get comfortable and, and get on the live. But I love you guys so much. And until my next live or video for that matter, I love you guys. Bye-bye now.